Okay, this one is sending chills up my spine. I, I cannot get enough of this story. It's really outstanding. I mean, you really do think of, of we, we talk about paralysis a lot. We talk about people being stuck and not being able to move. We, we really do talk about stem cells and the hope that that research has for people in terms of uh, dealing with paralysis. But now we have real life, what I think of as bionics. Uh, Amanda Boxtel is with me right now, uh, and Aether, uh, Aether Bender, he's the CEO of the company that we're about to talk about, E-Legs. Amanda is wearing the E-Legs. Amanda, you have been paralyzed uh, for how long? I've been paralyzed for 18 years. It was a freak skiing accident that rendered me a paraplegic, and just in a split second, I shattered four vertebrae, and I felt an electric current oh. that zapped through my legs, and then there was nothing, no muscle power, no movement, no sensation. And that's it. And you have been confined to a wheelchair or some sort of device to get you around. You, you, you lost your mobility. Well, yeah, I lost my mobility instantaneously, and mm. life changed yeah. for me. And I had to look at the world from four foot tall, uh, to look up all the time. And now that's not the case. Right. This is, and we're going to show, we, we showed you standing, but we're going to show this whole thing in just a moment. Athor, you uh, are behind this. Uh, your company is behind this. How did you meet up with Amanda? Well, it was uh, <laughs> simply through a, a friend. This is a small uh, in, world in a way, uh, especially in this field. And I, I heard about Amanda. I, I, I heard her speak, and she's been very passionate about getting walking again uh, through her whole life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought she would be just the perfect candidate. And what, how did you come up with this? Well, this is really originated from Berkeley, where there's a lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, background in terms of uh, wheelchairs. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they were basically UC Berkeley, and together with a couple of very innovative uh, guys who came together, and uh, they thought, okay, this would be a great idea to build an exoskeleton. And let's take a look walk. at that, Mark. It's an exoskeleton. It's something that goes outside your clothes, yeah. outside your body, uh, but, but, and it runs on batteries? It runs on batteries. It has actually motors here by the knee and by the hip, and it has a, a computer here on the back, yep. and then there are sensors that right. actually detect her movements. Okay. So she moves her crutch forward, and that will actually initiate the step. Uh, how long did it take you to get used to this? You've been, you've been playing around with this for a couple of months now? Well, there's, uh, I've only, um, I've got about 20 hours under my belt, and I, I called myself a guinea pig at, at first, and they said, no, Amanda, you're a test pilot, and in right. my book, no pilot can ever get enough air time. Sure. And, but there's a learning curve to this, as there is in, in, in any sport, and so I, I first went into the parallel bars, then a walker, and then I graduated to crutches, to the cross-lateral movement. And I was walking tall in my five foot, five foot seven body and, and loving every minute of it. Every day on The Big Eye, we bring you uh, technology or an idea that is going to change the world. Uh, people have been in wheelchairs, Aether and I were just talking, for centuries, for hundreds of years. That has been largely the only option for most people who get a spinal cord injury or who are, uh, are paralyzed. Now we are on the brink of something entirely new happening. Uh, Amanda Boxtel is here. She's demonstrating it for us. Uh, Aether uh, Bender is here. He's, uh, he's from the company uh, that is developing this. And you're thinking that if everything goes the way you like it to go, people could start using this at the end of next year even? Yeah, we are talking about middle of next year that we will have it in selected clinics uh, around the country. And so we'll start the, as a, something for the rehabilitation centers, yeah. but the goal is, to have is obviously have to have it some, uh, to take home. That's incredible. It. Amanda, 18 years in a wheelchair. <laughs> Shall we go for let's, it? Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Now keep in mind, this is to be used in a completely safe medical situation for someone to, to learn how to walk. But now there's no excuses, Ali. There's, uh, for a doctor to ever say again, you will never walk again, because we've got bionic technology right in front of us, and this is happening right now. The Did you future think you would is now. Again? You know, I never, I never believed in my lifetime that... I would be able to walk, and here I am, walking with you, side by side, eye to eye, and it's the most beautiful thing that, I, you know, I, it just it triggers emotion in me to this day. And it's a natural step because I'm bending my knee 
in the most natural step that, that I've had in 18 it, years. How does it know? I hear some, some hydraulics or something, a motor happening. How does it know what you, you're trying to do? Oh, I think it's, it's um, I'm not the technology expert. <laughs> I'm a test pilot. Do you want to answer that question? Yeah, basically what you do is that you are moving your crutch forward and with simply the arm gesture, right. you send a signal to the device to make the walk. And these, you've got some sensors on here. Yeah. And that's how it's, it's sensing it. I mean, yes. you, I could just see the joy in your face. <laughs> you, you, you see a whole new life in front of you. Absolutely. What are the things you're going to do when, this, when, when you're able to use this on your own and freely? Uh, what, 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 what does this mean for your life? When this is available for in-home use, I see myself using this every day as a rehabilitative device let's, by the way, let's to keep me going. Oh, shall we? Okay. Said that All right. Let's walk and talk. I can do that. Oh, okay. And then, um, you know, I live in the mountains. I live in Colorado. And if I'm able to eventually get out on uneven terrain and hike in the wilderness, that would be my most beautiful goal, to, to be outdoors with the wind in my face and to be loving life. And... Uh, at the end of this, I want you to promise me one thing. What's that? Can you give me a heart-to-heart -heart hug? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You, you, you get more than a hug. You deserve everything that life has to offer you because this is absolutely, absolutely incredible. Your success uh, is going to mean uh, great things for, for people who have been... Uh, uh, you know, confined to a wheelchair, who haven't been able to move around. As you said, you, you saw the world from four feet in chain. Yes. Now you're seeing it from, from my height. Come Congratulations. here. Congratulations. Congratulations. This is so incredible. Thanks for this having me. This is really, uh, this is why we do this. This is why we, we do these things about great ideas, because exactly. this is where they come from. So thanks to you. Thanks to Welcome. Berkeley Bionics and, and you two who have been here to make sure everything goes well. Uh, there will hopefully come a day when... You won't need to be here, but, uh, but we're very grateful to you and, and the folks at Berkeley uh, and Thank to you, Athor, and to you, Amanda, for, for being you. the test pilot on this. We will watch your progress very, very closely. Someone's got to do it, and this is going to revolutionize mobility options for people in wheelchairs. Yeah, it really, really is. Thank you so much for coming out here to do this. I really appreciate Thank this. You. you need to know more about this. For more on this amazing technology, go to my blog, cnn.com slash alley. I'm also going to get this put onto uh, our website uh, so you can get it on Twitter, you can get it on Facebook. You really need to, to really do this again. You need to watch it again to really get a sense of it.